Prince Harry has returned to the UK ahead of commemorations set to mark what would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday. The Duke of Sussex is due to give a speech at the unveiling of a statue to his late mother at Kensington Palace later today. However, royal commentator Charlie Ray has urged Prince Harry to avoid using the occasion as a platform to promote some woke message. Speaking on Wednesday, Mr. Ray told Talcradio, I have to be honest and say whenever he starts speaking now I start to tune out to be perfectly honest. Because I know it's coming it is all going to be woke and everything is right. Dot and everything else. I don't want to hear any more of his claptrap really. He added I just hope that tomorrow, and I'm sure he will. But tomorrow when he does make his speech tomorrow that it will be about his mother and not about some woke message he wants to put out there. Host Kevin O'Sullivan added. In this speech, he made for the Diana Awards he kind of implied that you know my brother and I are looking forward to this event. We're going to do this as if somehow or other the feud never happened and they are working together as a team. But what we do know is after the unveiling of the memorial in Kensington in London tomorrow they are supposed to be getting together for a one-on-one -on -one summit that optimists say will heal the rift. Well here's the thing. A. I don't think it will heal the rift because his crimes and sins are too intense to be forgiven just like that and B. I think millions of people around Britain do not want this rift to be healed because they don't think he deserves to be forgiven. It comes as Prince William was advised to be the one to rise above past offences in order to make peace with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Royal author Robert Lacey said, It is William who has got to rise above it. I mean he is the future king, future Prince of Wales. He is the guy who has really taken offence. When you try and work out what it is all about they had a row in courtship day when William felt that Harry should slow down. As William took eight years to commit finally to Kate because he felt she had to serve a sort of apprenticeship as a future queen. The royal expert added. He just assumed that Harry should do the same with this American girl from a culture, celebrity in her own right. Would she fit in, he wanted to know. Well. I think his doubts have proved correct and then a couple of years ago they had a furious row over bullying allegations that were made against Meghan. They said she had arrived like a film star she treated her staff as if they were serfs as if they were peasants and William again took offence.